Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Today I want to answer a viewer comment or viewer question and this one is from Freddie and Freddie has a, has a great question for this, uh, for this episode. So thank you very much Freddie, a shout out to you. So the question is, hi John, I noticed that there is a lot of talk about doing affiliate marketing but almost no one talks about being an advertiser or the person who creates the product. Isn't it more profitable to be the advertiser than the affiliate who earns only a fraction of the total product earnings? Also, have you ever thought about running your own affiliate network? If so, why or why not? All right, uh, great question, great question. And I have done everything that's listed here. So the question, you know, is it more profitable to be the advertiser instead of the affiliate? The answer is uh, yes or no, depending. Uh, I, I guess uh, for my example, let's see, uh, I have created product and BDN, have been the advertiser before, and I still am. Like I have four, pro four products on ClickBank that you as an affiliate can promote. So I have uh, I am John Chow, blogging with John Chow, and a few other uh, information type product, video product that sells for $37 to $97. And as an affiliate, you get 60% of the money and I get 40%. And on the surface, it, it sounds, it sounds great. It sounds great because, uh, you know, instead of making a hundred, instead of making hundred percent of what I make, I can make 40% of a whole bunch of people, whole bunch of people now. And I, I do make more money doing that than being as an as affiliate for ClickBank, see the, the the real money in ClickBank is made not from the, not by the affiliates. The real money is made from the advertiser. People actually produce the product for the affiliates. Now, knowing that, why don't everyone just be advertisers? And the answer is actually is quite simple. Uh, while you can potentially make more money, there are several obstacles in your way. Uh, the first one being that you actually have to create the product. That's the first problem. All right. So, uh, most affiliates just, you know, I want, give me something to promote. I want to make money on it. I don't want to, you know, set up video cameras, make up script, set up advertising for the marketing, set up the landing page, all that work that's involved for creating a product. Right. Okay? And you make more money, but way more work. For example, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, the, all the modules and blogging with John Child, I think like, uh, 15 or 20 modules and each of them has like half an hour video. So it's, it's a lot of content and it takes work to create all that stuff. The, the second issue you can run into is costs. It's expensive. It's not cheap. Uh, for example, the, the sales page for my blogging with John Chow product costs $10,000 to write because I didn't, I didn't write it and I'm not skilled enough to write, uh, to copy, to do copywriting at that level. Right? So I had to hire someone to do it. And that's, and I got 10,000 bucks. That was a break. I got a break on that because the guy knows me. Right? Uh, but generally s copywriting sales pages, you can spend anywhere from 10,000 up to a hundred thousand dollars just on that alone. And then there's the, uh, the launch contest, the marketing. So it's not cheap, very, very expensive, takes time to produce. And that's why most affiliate marketers, you know, wants to make money as an affiliate, they just, the affiliate, they don't want to be the advertiser. It's the expense involved and the, the time involved. And also the third issue you're going to run into is you need to be pretty well known. You need a brand. Let's say that, oh, I got, I just gonna, instead of being an affiliate, I'm just going to make a product and have affiliate sell it, sell it. Right? The problem is, you know, there are tens of thousands of products on ClickBank. So how do you stand out? How do you attract attention from those People, how does the affiliate decide who to promote? Well, they promote the popular guy. They promote the well-known, the well-known guru. They promote the the stuff that's selling that's hot. And if you're brand new and you have nothing, you know, be it backing you that says you are the expert or you are who you are, you know your stuff. It's really tough to a get affiliates. And if you don't want the affiliates promoting you, you're basically just promoting yourself. So you're just an affiliate yourself, and yet you spend all this time making the sales page. You're spending all this time making the content. Right. So that is the three main reasons why most affiliates are not advertisers or don't, or don't, don't become the advertiser. Now to answer your second question, uh, have I ever started my own affiliate, uh, my own affiliate network? 
not an affiliate network, but I have started my own ad network. And ad network, affiliate networks are pretty much the same. You know, you're, you're dealing with a bunch of affiliates, you're trying to handle them, and you're taking a, a bit of the money, right? I, I have done that. And the, and the reason I don't do it, uh, the reason I, I shut it down, is because uh, it is a lot of work. Oh my God, it's a, it is more than a full-time job. I mean, especially if you get to any certain levels of size. Uh, my, I've, I've experienced this, my friend Shoe Money, has experiences with auction ad. He created auction ad, went to like 30,000 affiliates in the network. And oh my God, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But for those who can do it, the potential money is amazing. It's amazing. Like some of the big guys in the industry, like uh, John Lim, who owns uh, John Lim, who, who, uh, who owns ClickBooth. I mean, a hundred million dollar operation. Like he is He's rich beyond. <laughs> he's on another level in terms of amount of money he he he's got and the amount of money he can. He doesn't flaunt his money. Like you will never know him from the average guy on the street. But he 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 makes it's crazy. And then you also uh, another example guy like Scott Richter. Scott Richter who owns Affiliate.com, Retarget.com, thousands of affiliates in his network. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in in sales and revenue. I mean. It, yeah, you would know you would know him because see he is like he's rich and he flaunts it and he shows it too. <laughs> but uh the main problem, my the biggest issue I had with running my own network wasn't so much handling the affiliates, it was the level of fraud. The the level of fraud and people just trying to scam you was oh, I mean there's a reason why affiliate marketing has such a bad rep. The the fraud they talk about, the scam they talk about is real. It is real. I mean, you would not believe how many people try to game the system to just take your money. It's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. In fact, there is an entire industry, a sub-industry in affiliate marketing that deals with fraud, and they help the affiliate network deal with fraud. That's how big of a deal this is. And and in the end, I just wanted to live the dot-com lifestyle. You know, time freedom, money freedom, location freedom, and if. Running an affiliate network will kill off your time freedom. <laughs> Completely kill it off. And, and also being the advertiser also kills off time freedom alone. Because it is it is more work. Not as much work as running an affiliate network, but definitely, definitely more work involved. So these days, uh, I'd rather just be an affiliate, promote continuity product that you know, where I get a percentage of the money every single month, you know, like Aweber, 30% of the bill every single month. I'll let Aweber take care of it. I just get my 30% every single month. I'm totally happy with that because that gives me time freedom, my money freedom, and my location freedom. That gives me the dot-com lifestyle. All right, so uh, I hope that answers your question. Thank you very much for asking it. So far, you're the only one that's actually doing it. I'm hoping more people do and follow your follow your lead. Anyway, so there you go. John Shelp and JohnShelp.com. Give me a thumbs up if you like that answer. Uh, if you're a first time viewer, hit that subscribe button because it does help me a lot. And like and share my video as well. See you guys next time.